Like the video where my friend and I are going to team up and kick the shit out of... Wait, what? You're fighting me too? Even though this guy is a wiener and we have zero beef between us? You know what? That's fair, man. It is what it is. Bump fist, man. Bump fist. Let's make it a clean fight. Part 2. Verdant Wind. Great Tree Moon. Blood of the Eagle and Lion. Just like its previous iteration in this map, the centerpiece is a big, obnoxious structure that can easily be taken with the many movement options of three houses. But then, the real problem comes in with how much the enemy's strength has advanced. Both enemy factions are sporting very threatening units in the form of the former students. And the regular units aren't even that bad either. This time killing the Ballista spawns reinforcements right where you started the map, which is surprising and obnoxious. If you plan on making choke points out of the structure, Edelgard's like, oh, are my allies there? Oops, and lights that bitch on fire. These are simple and effective remixes to this map that we've more or less already done before. There's just so much going on this time around, so much room for error, so many things that could go wrong that you basically have to use a good bit of your divine pulses. It's this type of trial and error gameplay that really shines in Three Houses. There's just so much opportunity for pre-planning strategies and playing on the fly as you just try and muddle your way through this big bombastic battle. It's really a lot of fun. Or I could just use the- Just- just go to the left. Staff. It's really sad. I spent so much time planning, routing out my opening moves, and setting up for this big scramble. It seemed absolutely ridiculously difficult to do. I even played around with the idea of going right and taking out Dimitri and his company first. I was trying to think outside the box, but shit, that was never going to happen. Dimitri is built like a brick shit house. There is no taking him and his cronies on all at once. It is so, so much easier to just go left, skirt around the range of the ballista, clear out Edelgard's side units, then Edelgard, then clean up Dimitri units after the two factions clash. It feels like a complete and utter kappa to what was probably going to be one of the hardest chapters in the game. The game doesn't even offer the slightest reward for subjecting yourself to the difficulty, just a minute amount of experience, something that is worthless in Three Houses. They needed to cut out such a simple method of cheesing the map and just have you face the challenge head on. This chapter was going to be an Easy, easy 9 out of 10, but, but I just, I just, uh, 5 out of 10, dude.